Hey everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to this product review of a couple of products that I have received from NT Labs. So NT Labs is a UK based company uh, which sells various uh, fish products both for um, freshwater aquariums as well as for saltwater aquariums. Um, they have sent me a couple of their products to review and to test so I have done that and in return I've made this video uh, to tell you about these products uh, the way I've used them the way I have experienced uh, them up until now so here we go so the first product that I have tested is their phosphate remover uh, which is a thing that I really needed I really need because my phosphate values are uh, well, pretty high, above 0 0.5. So, their phosphate remover is an aluminum based product that I have in my sump at the moment, which I'll show you in the second part of this video after we're done reviewing the products individually. Um, so, with that, they have sent me a uh, couple of filter bags, which are pretty the standard fine. Um, mesh filter bags that you can close up with one of these things these things and then place in your sump in a high flow area so up until now uh, I haven't seen a significant drop in phosphate values uh, but that's because they are really high uh, so I assume I assume that it's doing its work without causing any issues so the second product is their uh, anti aptasia um, as you have probably uh, also experienced, if you have a reef tank, you will occasionally see some Aptasia in your tank. There's a nice image on the product, as you can see. If you haven't seen one before, this is what they look like. Um, it will also work against the Mayano type of anemones. It says that as well on the package, so it treats both Aptasia and Mayano. Uh, it's reef safe. You can do about 200 applications, is what it says. Um, I have applied some of it. Uh, with the uh, syringe that comes with it, so with it is a syringe with a fine tip, uh, which is very nice to uh, to use. So you can very uh, you can pinpoint the uh, the the Aptasia or a Mayano very directly. I have found it to be a bit fluid. So usually, what I expect from one of these products, uh, having used Aptasia X by Red Sea and uh, Joe's Juice, is that it's a bit more thick and also white. This one is a little bit more pinkish and a bit more fluid. So when applying, uh, be sure to uh, to turn off your flow uh, and to apply it very close to the anemone or Mayano that you want to remove uh, to uh, to keep it in uh, in place because it's it's not very thick, so it will disperse in the water easily if you don't uh, turn off the flow. So that's an important thing to do. Otherwise, it works as it should. It removes them from your tank. So a product that I was very happy with is the coral dip. Um, I have tried various coral dips uh, in my uh, reefing career up until now for the past five years. Uh, they're all uh, based, I think, on a on a similar kind of method of of removing uh, pests from your uh, from your coral. This comes in a nice bl uh, blue bottle, comparable to uh, RX RX. Um, it's also pretty fluid, but that's not not an issue. You have to use one pipette uh, full for each liter of water that you uh, want to treat. So whenever you're uh, you're treating your corals, uh, this is a very good and nice product to use. I will definitely use this all the way. Then there's two last products which are more uh, reef maintain maintenance products. Uh, the live filter bacteria, uh, as you know, having um, bacteria, good bacteria in your tank is very important for the balance of your tank. Uh, this is bacteria in a bottle, uh, same as other brands. Um, I've used it up until now, and um, although it's hard to pinpoint something that has specifically changed, um, I haven't seen any negative effects from it, so uh, assuming it works, uh, it's uh, very easy to apply. For me, I have to do one cup full, uh, which is 20 milliliters for a thousand liters of water. Uh, so it will run out pretty quickly. If you have a smaller tank, then uh, you could do a lot more with it a lot longer. The last one is Coral Boost. 
which contains a couple of vital elements for your uh, for your tank. It says it replenishes 25 trace elements in marine aquariums. Um, there's a uh, a uh, um, user guide on the uh, the back of the package. It comes in a uh, bottle with an easy dispenser. Um, I have used it about four times now um, on thousand liters of water, uh, which makes it about half full. Uh, so if you have a smaller tank, you'll do longer with it. I have used it for a month now, approximately, and uh, applied um, well about half. So I could do probably another month with it. Um, then again, I have been using it quite a lot uh, since my corals can definitely use some boost. So the last product I want to show you is the... Um, the food that they've sent over, probiotic marine food, they are pellets. Um, I will uh, put some in the tank right now. The fish seem to like them quite a lot. So this is the uh, probiotic marine food, uh, 0 0.8 to 1.5 millimeters, floating and sinking. So as you will be able to see while I'm putting it in the tank, you can see them mainly sinking, which is what you want. But you can also see some floating and then while the current does what it does they will sink as well and of course that's what you want because you want your fish to uh, um, to get them from the water column so you can see the pellets flying around in the water based on my flow and you can see that the fish very much enjoy them so I will keep using this food it's the only pellet food I use so uh, very happy to see that the fish are uh, are eating it well I normally don't feed pellets because uh, I don't see my fish enjoying them that much uh, but when feeding these pellets they definitely uh, go uh, all the way to uh, to eat from it so uh, I will be definitely using these pellets for the next couple of months until they run out of course and then I'll have to buy some new ones so, last thing I want to show you before ending this product review video is the uh, phosphate remover in my tank. So, as you can see right here, I've placed it in my sump um, right beneath the uh, overflow box. So, here's one of these uh, filter bags that I've shown you before. And uh, the uh, phosphate pellets are in there. And I've placed them right below the overflow return so that all the water that comes in will be affected by these pellets. So, a big thank you to NT Labs for sending me these products. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, you should try out their products, of course, uh, if you want. And um, for now, that's it. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.